A normally low profile state board is getting a lot of attention over its vote on a petition to repeal an almost 80 year old law. That law was used by the governor to issue pandemic orders until it was struck down last fall. Let's bring in our Grant Herms and Grant this board normally has a rather mundane ch task here. Yeah, that is the state board of canvassers and normally they certify or don't certify things like state elections, national elections and of course these petitions. Well, in their meeting this week, members were split and that could have a major impact. The petition would get rid of a 1945 law that gives the governor's office emergency powers until the state Supreme Court ruled the law was unconstitutional. The petition was set to go straight to the legislature where it was expected to pass quickly. The group behind the petition, Unlock Michigan, did get enough signatures and the State Board of Elections recommended the petition be sent to legislators. But it's also been the subject of a lot of scrutiny. Attorney General Dana Nessel launched an investigation into Unlock Michigan and the petition after videos showing a trainer advising signature collectors use unlawful tactics to collect signatures was found. This week, Nessel announcing there was no finding of criminal conduct. But the two Democrats on the four-member board called for their own investigation. She did not find enough proof to, she, think, she thinks to be able to convict beyond a reasonable doubt. Reasonable doubt would not be our standard should we choose to investigate. An investigation was voted down and later both Democrats would vote against certifying the petition. Mr. Okay, the motion, the motion fails uh, two to two. Is that right? Melissa, sorry, I didn't let you go first. <laughs> yes, sir. That's two okay. To two. The vote was praised by state Democrats and roundly criticized by state Republicans, but it also means this fight over pandemic power isn't over yet. And that means that this petition will almost certainly head to court. There's also a lawsuit right now hoping to block this petition from going forward. And the state Supreme Court could overturn its own ruling about that 1945 law. Now that the balance on the court has shifted back to Democrats, it really could impact how and if this petition moves forward. Back to you. Okay, Grant, thank you.